Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah Elizabeth and today we are going to talk about combining a bright spring lip color with a eyeshadow look. Oh, I'm so excited. So I have the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Coral Crush. It's such a beautiful shade. And I did want to use a neutral eyeshadow palette from the drugstore, so I have the CoverGirl True Naked Chocoholic Palette. As always, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, and please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell to see more of my goofy face. <sighs> okay, I'm going to quick line my lips with the Flower Beauty Petal Pelt Lip Liner in beige. Just a light nude liner. I don't have anything that actually matches, so I just wanted to do something light. And draw in. And do do do. Nothing super precise. Mm -hmm. I am testing out a dupe for the Becca under eye brightening corrector right now so if you notice any perhaps the differences between my under eyes that is why okay and okay coral crush is such a beautiful bright shade like yeah so go slow Pay attention to those lip lines. All right. Uh, I will not speed this part up for any of you, just so you can see how slow and careful I am actually being. Mm -hmm. and I'm not bringing it all the way to the corner. Alright. Wow. Is that bright or what? <laughs> Alright. So my lids are already concealed and set with a base shade. I really wish that they had the shade names on the front with the colors, but we'll have to make do. So I'm going to grab this lighter matte. Not the lightest, but that one that's got a little color. Just slowly add that into my crease. The Dose of Colors lip formula is very, very dry. Well, it's a little dry, but not over, over dry. I do like this. I do suggest, depending on what liquid lipstick type and formula you are using, to pay attention to that and, you know, proceed accordingly. If you know it's a drying formula, make sure you have either a lip balm barrier or have prepped your lips in some way or even use like a lip mask prior if you don't feel like leaving anything on. So I've got a nice little bit going on and I'm leaving it at that for that eye at this moment. build it up on the other side as well. So I've kept most of the pigment in my crease. I'm gonna grab that very light shade and use that just to blend out the edges both closer to the eye and on the outer side. So it'll help soften everything up because you usually don't wanna do a bold eye and a bold lip. Want everything to be very smooth and blended. Turn so you can see a little bit better here. It blends out so nice. I wish that this had a lighter brown, but it works out really nicely as it is. So grabbing a flat brush, we're gonna dip into that light shade again. 
this is going to be a matte look for me anyway I prefer to use mattes with a look this intense all right I'm gonna grab my ring finger and I'm gonna dip into that creamy little matte here just press that on the very inner portion here just to build it up a little bit more it is such a buttery smooth formula and this shade does not really have a whole lot of pigment all right I'm gonna grab my smallest fluffy brush that I have I'm gonna dip into that brown again and put that as close to my lash line on the outer half as I can you can build these colors up to your liking also I personally prefer a lighter look seeing as I'm going so heavy on my lip so once I have that set I'm gonna grab a clean and eh, that's a little big a clean more just knock that down my shirt well then a clean more narrow fluffy brush I'm gonna grab that light creamy shade again and use that to blend in right in the middle where there is no shadow and that brown just has that tiny little bit of a gradient I like that I really do all right then I'm gonna grab a clean fluffy brush all the way and blend that outer portion just a little bit further all right you're probably like wait is that really it no <laughs> nope I'm gonna grab an angled brush in that brown again and push that against my lashes on the outer portion of my upper eyelid just on the very very outer bit I want to just make that lash line seem a tiny bit thicker get a little fallout that is okay just use a fluffy brush and gently sweep it away that pimple does not want to leave my highlight area which is kind of pissing me off go grab a more smudgy brush here just to kind of smudge that brown in where I put it and we are ready for inner corner highlight so just take whatever highlight you use on your face I use the Laura Mercier highlight 01 matte radiance baked powder it is extremely crumbly and smooth so that is the powder just grab some of that fallout or hmm, kick back from the pan just gonna put that right on the very inner portion here Whew. you don't need too much if you prefer to just have more of a matte look as well everything is your own preference of course I'm going to quick pop on mascara I have a combination I've been loving the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara and the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I like to use this on my upper lashes first, then the Wander Beauty one. And then the Wander Beauty one is only used on my bottom lashes. Well, it's the only one I use on my bottom lashes, I mean. So I'm going to quick apply that off camera and I will be right back to show you all the finished look. Alright, so there it is. A beautiful understated eye look with a bright beautiful bold lip so with the Wonder Beauty mascara when it came to my lower lashes I did only put it on the outer portion I like to keep the inner portion of my eye bright and open you can always pair this with a darker eyeliner or a nude or even a white I personally think I would go with a nude waterline or nothing it just simple and understated and beautiful the brown really does make my eyes pop I look in the mirror I'm like whoo I'm feeling it I'm feeling this look if you did enjoy today's video please don't forget to like comment subscribe ring that bell to see more of my goofy face I upload every Tuesday and Friday 4 p.m. Central Standard Time and occasionally I'll upload a bonus video on Saturdays <sighs> Wow 
gonna have a little bit more of that. It dried so neon and pretty. Uh huh. Wow, I like it. <laughs> See you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.